Nice. Hello, everyone. Welcome to game number three between Macros and Game Slayer, part of a best of three series between the Winter Championship 1v1. I'm Philothanic, joined by Hexapus. Hexapus, what do you think about this map? This is a lot nicer than the. Uh... Oh, it's a lot nicer than the last map, I suppose. I mean, yeah, the first map. Was it? The <laughs> first forgot. map, you. This carbon here could be interesting for a scavenger up on the cliff, maybe to the right of it. It's a high carbon medium. In fact, that's a game slayer decides he's going to go at zero debt. And Macro's going for that other, another potential found, a expansive down below game slayer. Um, which of these founds are you liking better? A good find. Um... Personally, I would like the scavenger better because it's closer to water. Especially when the scavenger can probably upgrade first and touch the good water, and that will leave the expansive of it in the cold. Right, so Game Slayer would seem to the advantage on water. One thing we haven't mentioned yet is the colony is once again another glass colony. It's three glass colonies in a row. The silicon is right in between both players. Up for grabs for either of them at this point. There are plenty of silicon, so that shouldn't be a problem. Right, that shouldn't be the problem. Um, Game Slayer, like with that water advantage, we're just waiting for players to decide they're going to upgrade. Macros is <laughs> one point. 2k away from the upgrade as it now game slayer has the upgrade takes it macros claim more interesting play would have been the macros crushing the silicon and, and taking off the tiles i mean it's not that far from the iron if you crush the silicons but it will force game slayer to grab the far silicon which is not ideal yeah that that would be the more interesting long-term play um as an expansive, and that's sort of the bet you want to make as an expansive, because the expansive you want to uh, get that long term. But I think earlier I said Game Slayer took his spot for zero debt, maybe? He, I, think he, I think that was a misstatement. He took it for 26k debt, which a lot of people in the chat think it's a, a bit a good too much price. debt to get. I mean,. There are two spots that are look that looking viable. This has to be that a mistake by Game yeah. Slayer. Game Slayer, the scavenger should have beaten the expansive to the upgrade, but Macros beat Game Slayer to the better water tile. I wonder if that's yeah. going to come back and bite Game Slayer at all later in the game. That could hurt him. Oh, game slayer, yes. Across is in grass already? With oxygen that high. Hmm. It is a glass colony. Glass, as long as he doesn't auto sell it, it will drive the price. Price of glass should continue to go up. Not to New mention, Game Slayer is going to have to option. buy glass off the market. Which he's already bought most of his glass. So, both players really wanting this geothermal tile. Macros is going to take it. We will see if we get the first gooned geothermal power plant of the entire series or not. <laughs> right. The black market is open for business. Game Slayer takes the upgrade up to HQ number three first, which is exactly what you want to see as a scavenger. And um, in some water problems right now, as farms are auto offing. Claimed his second water tile. He has two more claims. It'll be interesting to see what, in fact, he does with them. Macros, on the other hand, is still at HQ2. He's 9k away from the upgrade. He's auto selling glass, which. It's a mistake, I would say. Yes, I and then the, what, 
what you were saying about the oxygen being really high, that's coming to bite him. For and he didn't have plan. silicon to come in, coming in, and the silicon pipes just catch up to the grass, so it's not profitable anymore. Right. Uh, Game Slayer moving into some power, deciding that he does not want to die to debt this game. Work out, out for him last game, so. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's, it's one of those uh, really high risk, re uh, low reward types of plays. An expansive HQ has been upgraded. Finally, making that upgrade, Macros getting some of that silicon, which uh, silicon price has been creeping up really high due to both of those glass kilns being on without any silicon, which would explain some of that auto selling, even if it's not ideal. Necker's also moving into his first aluminum tile of the game. Right now I'd like to see, instead of Macros going into two silicon, I think I'd rather see him go I into... I agree with that silicon, the second silicon crane. You think it's good or you much. don't? I don't think it's a good idea. Even though silicon is high right now, The yes, it's high right now, but that's because Macros has driven it up in price, and look at the price and life support, especially oxygen and fuel. That's really outside of water, Congratulations. and silicon, which Macros was the one who drove the price up, that's really where the, uh, the markets are right now. Game Slayer deciding he wants some of that water, pirating it. Game Slayer is has almost paid off all of his the debt. Market is online. More important no, than sorry. Uh, water, I think Game Slayer is trying to pirate the uh, aluminum to keep him out of the aluminum market. Nope, I, I take that back. He uh, won Energy Vault for 12k, which is a decent, decent patent at a decent price. That put him at 50. Debt, fifty k in debt. Going into oh, he's not earning, uh, he's not earning power money anytime soon. So might as well. No, a lot of that power okay. is going into the energy vault. What Game Slayer want to do is Macros is in D debt right now, so he probably wants to attack this geothermal plant, keep it offline try and keep power up a little bit higher. Well, alternatively, he can just boost his own win and... With a adrenaline boost? I mean, yes. he could do that. That One of them, both of them make Game Slayer money, one pushes Macros further into debt. And I kind of like the push Macros further into debt option. Instead, he decides to mutiny this aluminum mine, which also makes sense given the super high price of aluminum. Macros does not have nearly enough aluminum to upgrade. He needs another 25k worth of aluminum to get to the upgrade, which he has, but that is really painful with the aluminum. That is. And if it's not careful, he might be open to a uh, game sale attack. Like, game sale is already 63% on him. So maybe after an interest pick, and if he's not careful, putting too many buildings down, and that could put right. him uh, very close to a uh, majority buy area. Yeah, Macros' problem right now is he doesn't have as many buildings making money as Game Slayer does. That will change now that he's at HQ4 and has that, what, three extra claim advantage on uh, the scavenger? And then that tile for going for 8,000 is a mistake, I think. Uh, first of all, it's too cheap. Uh, and pressure though, Matria earns a pretty tidy sum, uh, 148. Right, I think Game Slayer went, let that go cheap because Right now, he is interested in ending this game right here, right now. He has 80% of the buy already. 
boosting it aluminum. Uh, He's boosting aluminum because it was very profitable playing. at the time. He's buying into water, sold out of water, and is now going to try and make the kill on Macros. This should be the end of the game, barring anything else. Unexpected. I do not see Gameslayer needs an additional 2k. He has the buy. There you got the money. There's the game. Gameslayer coming back down 0-1 to win the series. And um, a well played game number three by Game Slayer. Helped out a lot, I think, by not going into D levels of debt. <laughs> and I think uh, Macro is not going into aluminum, is a mistake. Uh, you cannot yes. really skip aluminum as expensive. Uh, in 1v1, uh, Game Slayer will just punish you for keeping, by keeping the aluminum price high. Right, I mean. Yes, I, I'd agree. Going, he went in that aluminum at. I noticed it at HQ three. I don't think he went into the aluminum. Uh, he went for the that. aluminum at HQ three, so he didn't have one at HQ one, which is all right. But but HQ two, you should really get to get some aluminum. Right. So I do believe. Going into the aluminum was a mistake. Going into the glass kilns felt like a mistake at HQ2. Yeah, it was too early, at, uh, especially when he didn't have a silicon income. The, right. the he price of silicon just catch up very quickly. Income, but instead of using those, that glass to upgrade, he's, he's selling down the glass. Just to um, paste, I mean, just to uh, keep those glass kilns on. Uh, Game Slayer, looking at Game Slayer really quick. Uh, Game Slayer, I think, did, except for not upgrading on HQ1 fast enough and letting Macros get this one medium water pump, I think Game Slayer played everything pretty much right. Identifying the better spot, taking it for a decent amount of debt, going into power when power is good, and uh, just overall making uh, decent plays.